Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that Circle Joe, he's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. Are you kidding? With those mosquitoes dive bombing me all night? Uh, we're having unusually warm weather. You also have unusually large mosquitoes. <laughs> Did you ever hear of screens? Oh, yes, sir. We're getting new ones today. Uh, Bobby Joe, Mr. Blake needs some coffee. What I really need is a transfusion. <laughs> hey, you know something? You got some crazy hummingbirds around this hotel. <laughs> hummingbirds? Yeah, they kept flying in my window last night, stabbing me with those long beaks. Oh, well, we're getting new screens today. Well, either that or get me a hungry cat. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Gordon. Morning. Man, I can't decide which of these sisters is prettier. I see what you mean. <laughs> hey, how would you girls like to double date tonight? Double date? Yeah, just the three of us. <laughs> How about some breakfast? Uh, yes, sir, right away. And fry up some of those mosquitoes. Well, there'll be new screens today, Mr. Blake. So I keep hearing. Well, we're having very, very unusual, unusual weather. weather. <laughs> I know. You think they're going to check out? Not if we get those new screens up today. Well, you better put an extra pan of bacon on the stove. A good breakfast will help take their mind off the mosquitoes. Yeah, okay. Train's in, Mom. Are the screens on it? Must be. Floyd said there's something in the baggage car for us. Oh, at last. <laughs> Why aren't you down there helping unload them? Uncle Joe sent me away. Said he'd rather handle it himself. Well, that's a lot of nonsense. The more hands, the faster. It... I tell you, Bobby and Billy can handle the breakfast, and you and I will go help unload those beautiful new screens. <laughs> With new screens, they don't get extra bacon. <laughs> hey, Billy, you know something? That Mr. Gordon's cute. But he's kind of a wolf. Yeah, I know. And I worry about you being in there alone, here. Yes, dear. Uh, Betty Joe, I get... Two new salesmen? Uh, well, uh, more like one. Well, one's better than none. Where is he? Hey, you might say he's standing right here. Oh, you're a salesman now. Well, not exactly, no. Uh, technically, it's more like a franchised agent. Oh, fine. Well, you tell me all about it while we carry up the screens, huh? Okay. Huh? Screens didn't come. Oh, no. Well, that's the last time that I order screens through a magazine ad. They said that if I would mail the money in advance, that they would guarantee delivery with the... You did send the money, didn't you, Uncle Joe? <laughs> oh, sure I did. Well, it was the last $70 we had in the world. In fact, it's Billy Joe's college money. Oh, I know that, Kate. Uncle Joe, tell me you didn't spend that money. I didn't. Oh. I invested it. Oh, and what? What's in those suitcases? 144 cans of Lord and Lady Violet Cologne. You call that an investment? But wouldn't you? You put out $70, you get back 140 and maybe more. I, I think I better sit down. That's a good idea. I'll explain finance to you. Before you do that, explain what we're going to do about the mosquitoes coming up from the swamp that are biting us out of business. Well, that's simple. 
We'll leave the windows closed. You see, Uncle I'm... Joe, this is the hottest Indian summer we've had in 50 years. You, you didn't let me finish. You see, when I double or maybe triple your money on that cologne, we can air condition this entire hotel. Joe! <laughs> I couldn't find any screens, Mom, but these were down by the track. Another 144 cans. 288 cans of little pressurized money makers. And this is only the first shipment. And I talked them into giving me the exclusive franchise for this whole half of the state. Uh, honey, run quick to the kitchen and tell Billy Joe to uh, fry up some extra bacon. <laughs> Uncle Joe, uh, how could this happen? I can't take all the credit, Kate. It must have been the hand of destiny that put that ad for screens right next to this glorious opportunity that I'd been looking for all my life. Here, read this. My eyes are too full of tears. Yeah, I get misty-eyed, too, when I think of all the money that's going to come rolling in. I'm thinking of the money that's gone rolling out. Billy Joe's college money. I'll send that girl to one of the best colleges in the country. Listen to this. How Mr. A.J. Simmons of Lamar, Missouri, earns $90 a week in his spare time as franchise agent for Lord and Lady Violet Cologne. Did you hear that, Kate? That's just in his spare time. I'm going to work full time. That'll mean two, three hundred dollars a week more. Uncle Joe, let's go have some breakfast. Not for me. I got work to do. I got sales campaigns to organize, distribution to map out, bookkeeping to set up. Kate, can't you just hear opportunity knocking? Hear it? I got a splitting headache from it. <laughs> She's a fine little woman. She just don't understand business. <laughs> Billy, you know why Mom's so worried about the screens not coming? Sure, she's afraid those salesmen are going to check out. No, more than that. We're going to have royalty staying right here. Royalty? Uncle Joe says the Shady Rest Hotel is going to be the headquarters of Lord and Lady Violet. <laughs> oh, well, why did he tell me about him? Well, he went tearing off before I could ask. He said he had to practice his presentation. Well, we've got some practicing to do if we're going to be presented to royalty. Uh, Lynn. Your ladyship. <laughs> Charmed, Your Grace. Good morning, ladies. Could I have a moment of your time to introduce Lord and Lady Violet? <gasps> They're here! <laughs> Uncle Joe, you should have told us! Well, you're a myth! Glad, girls, you're making me forget my speech. <laughs> has romance disappeared from your lives? Has your husband and boyfriend lost interest in you? <laughs> Let Lady Violet bring back that gleam in his eye. And for the man in your life, we have a rugged, masculine fragrance, Lord Violet. Yes, girls! Promise him anything, but give him... Uncle Joe, what in the world are you talking about? I'm talking about that new fragrance that set all London to talking. There's Lady Violet Cologne for females and Lord Violet Cologne for males. Cologne? This ain't ordinary cologne, lady. Lord and Lady Violet represent a startling new breakthrough in the field of smell. Hey, you! <laughs> What's burning? <laughs> Lovely, Mother. It must be Uncle Joe's cologne. That's the smell you're hoping to get money for? Well, now, Kate, the, the kitchen ain't exactly the place to demonstrate a subtle fragrance. Uh, come on outside in the clear, pure, fresh air and let Lady Violet have a fair shake. I've got plenty shook right here. I don't need another whip. Well, now, come on, Kate. Uncle Joe? Uncle Joe, I, I really... I, I don't want to eat... Oh, Kate, <laughs> oh, stop clowning. Who's clowning? I don't want that stuff in my kitchen. Well, to be fair, Kate, you haven't even smelled Lord Violet for men yet. It doesn't matter. They all... Oh! <laughs> oh, Mom, it can't be as bad as all the... Ooh! <laughs> Where did Uncle Joe get it? I don't know. Ask A.J. Simmons of Lamar, Missouri. Who's A.J. Simmons? Is he a friend of Uncle Joe's? Yeah, you bet he is. A.J. Simmons makes $90 a week just in his spare time. He doesn't even have to budge out of Lamar, Missouri. He better not if he knows what's good for him. <laughs> Mother just doesn't understand business. I understand this business. Now, you pack up all 288 cans of this stuff, and we're taking them into Sam Drucker's store. Hey! Now you're catching on, Kate. That's a good idea. 
I'll franchise Drucker for Hooterville. <laughs> sell to Drucker for 25 cents a can. That's what I paid for it. <laughs> All I want to do is get Billy Joe's college money back well, so I can buy new screens. Kate, you still don't understand profit and loss. <laughs> if you sell it cost, it's bad business. It's bad cologne. <laughs> you know, sales-wise and market-wise, if you ain't got a markup, you take a beaten profit-wise. You're already taking a beaten mosquito-wise. <laughs> Howdy, Kate. Joe? Well, I don't know. I'm satisfied with the brand of coffee I've been selling. Yeah, but Mr. Drucker, these are better coffee beans. They're aged. So, so am I. Can't say it helped me any. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I got a couple of my favorite customers to wait on. Mind if I check your stock in the back room? No, go right ahead. Well, what'll it be, folks? Well, I'll tell you the truth, Sam. Uh, we're not buying today. We're selling. You, Kate? You're selling? Well, Uncle Joe and I together are. Against my better business judgment. <laughs> what is it you're selling against your better business judgment? Show them, Uncle Joe. Lord or lady? Both. Which one first? <laughs> uh, hold it, Sam. Now, before you open that, I want to ask you a question. Shoot. Now, this may be a shot in the dark. But did you ever make the acquaintance of an A.J. Simmons in Lamar, Missouri? <laughs> Who's he? Never mind, Sam. Your time's valuable, and we don't want to waste it. Thank you, Kate. Ah, oh, hey, I remember this stuff. Lord Violet? Uh, no, cologne. I stopped six bottles of it in 1934. Got five left. One broke. <laughs> That's the beauty of Lord Violet. Comes in the new unbreakable spray can. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's got that push-button gizmo. I wouldn't do that, Sam. <laughs> Why not? Well, you don't want to waste one precious puff of Lord Violet, the rugged masculine fragrance that drives women crazy. I'll go along with that. Excuse me. Did I hear somebody talking about Lord Violet? Yeah, why? Well, that's the first line I ever represented. Lord and Lady Violet Cologne. I was only 12 years old. Answered an ad in a magazine. Something about how Mr. A.J. Simmons of Lamar, Missouri, earned $40 a week in his spare time. You hear that, Kate? $40 then, now it's up to 90 We're not selling to Sam Drucker for cost. We got a gold mine here. Just a minute, Uncle Joe. How well did you do with Lord and Lady Violet? Well, I got my folks a new car out of it. And you were only 12 years old? Yeah. A bottle of it exploded in their car and stunk it up so bad they had to buy a new one. <laughs> oh, don't listen to this salesman, Sam. Just professional jealousy. Oh, why should I be jealous? I don't sell cologne. Yeah, you bet you don't. This is our territory. Oh, forget it, Uncle Joe. Seventy dollars wouldn't have started Billy Joe in college anyway. And as for the screens, we'll buy the guests fly swatters and hope for cooler weather. <laughs> Bye, Sam. Now you're talking, Kate. We can sell that cologne for two dollars a can minimum. Uh, uh, Kate. Wait a minute. You got $70 tied up in this cologne? Yeah, plus two of mine. But taking two gross, I got it for 25 cents a can. Pretty shrewd buying, eh, Sam? Yes, it was. You cornered the market. And that's bad for my business. Uh, listen, Kate. Uh, will you sell me the whole lot of it for $75? No thanks, Sam. Yeah, you bet no thanks. He'd sell it for $2 a can. Let's see, uh, 288 cans, that it comes to... Well, it'd come to a lot. We might as well have it. Listen, Kate, will you take $80? Thanks anyway, Sam. Yeah, thanks for what? Stealing the money out of our pocket? Here's the train. Let's get back to the hotel. <laughs> You get on back to the hotel. I'm going to start house to house here in Hooterville. A couple of hundred dollars worth of daylight selling time left. You're going to sell 144 cans here in Hooterville? There aren't that many people. After I saturate this burg, I'm going to hit a few farms on the way back. You're going to walk all the way back to the hotel with those heavy bags? Well, they won't be heavy for long. 
And paper money don't weigh much. Okay, I'll see you back at the hotel. <laughs> Weave, Drucker, this stuff's gonna put you out of business. You're not kidding. <laughs> Knocking yourself out. Uh, uh, I don't mind. What happened to your helpers? Yeah, where well, those big sisters of yours disappear too? They're waiting for the train. M Mother may be on it. Those screens better be on it, or I'll meet it on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you gentlemen come inside where the mosquitoes won't bother you? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's got a point there. The big ones couldn't get through the door. Let's give it a try. It's cooler in there, too. And I'll fix you some nice, cool lemonade. Well, see if you can find those nice, cool sisters of yours. Thank you, boy. Hey, did you have any luck, Mom? Looks like you sold two cases. Did Mr. Drucker buy them? How much did you get? Hey, where's Uncle Joe? Let's let, let sit down a minute, girls, and I'll answer your questions. Now. Starting with the last one, where's Uncle Joe? He's between here and Hooterville trying to peddle 144 cans of, um, pressurized disappointment. What do you say, Fred? How many cans of Lord Violet can it put you down for? Well, I'll tell you, Joe. The man in my line of business ain't got too much need for cologne. Happy, happy, sure, sure, sure. Say, Fred, has it ever occurred to you that a pig farmer might be among those most likely to offend? Offend who? Whoever he meets up with. Well, the pig farmer meets up at the pig bars. They ain't no more fragrant than we are. Get over there, Alice. Let Myrtle have some of that slop. There you are. Yeah, well, now about this cologne. You could set a style. Hmm? You'll go to market just once, not smelling like a pig. All the others will want to jump on the bandwagon. <laughs> you don't seem to get the point. A good pig man don't care. He's got the smell of pigs in his blood. I'm giving you an opportunity to get it out. Here, I'll give you a free whiff. Lord Violet. No, ain't look, it? Look how that fits the hand. All you got to do is just press that button like this. Uh -huh. How do you like it? How do you like it? it? Ain't bad, is it? You better sign up for a dozen cans right now, not run the risk of me running out. How much are they? Well, now they retail in the city for uh, two dollars a can. Goodbye. Now, wait a minute, Fred. This ain't the city. For you, Fred, 50 cents a can? Well, uh, that's more like it, but I don't need a dozen cans. Half a dozen cans. Well... What do they know? They're only pigs. Might be only pigs to you. But to me and my wife, they're bread and butter. Well, give them time to adjust to it. No, I'm sorry. I'm not interested. But where are you going, Fred? I'm going to the house and take a bath. Well, here. Take this Lord Violet with you. If Ruthie likes it as well as you, you might want to change your mind about it. No chance. If I got to choose between my wife and the pigs, I'll have to take the pigs. Wait a minute, friend. How's Ruthie been looking to you lately? What do you mean? I mean, has she got that old charm, that sparkle, that excitement? Uh, frankly, no. Buddy. Right here in this suitcase, I've got 72 cans of instant romance. Lady Violet. You let Ruthie sprinkle a little of this on and you can't resist her. You'll be powerless to resist her. You'll grab her in your arms. You'll smother her with kisses. Now, how many, how many cans are you going to want? You open that thing and I'll take this stick to you. What? 
Ruthie's a good cook and a hard worker. But there's the ugliest woman the Lord ever let loose. <laughs> if we don't do something real quick, Mr. Blake and Mr. Gordon are going to check out. Oh, dear. I don't want to lose their business. They're crackerjack salesmen. Mom, I've got an idea. If anyone can sell Lord and Lady Violet Cologne, it's those two. Well, I'm sure of that, honey, but how do we sell it to them? Oh, I know how to do that. You sit down. <laughs> now, listen, Mom. Now, Mr. Gordon is sort of a wolf, and he's always asking Bobby and me for dates. I know, I know. <laughs> listen, I've got an idea. Are we all alone? Just you and me and the mosquitoes, and I'm getting out. <laughs> if I'm going to be a donor, I'd rather give it to the Red Cross. <laughs> Mr. Blake? Screens come? Not yet. I'm checking out. <laughs> Please, Mr. Gordon, we're talking about something very important. Listen, Billy, uh, what kind of cologne was this salesman wearing? It was called Lower Violet. Oh, I heard that makes a man absolutely irresistible. Oh, does it ever? Gee, I wish I knew a boy who wore Lord Violet cologne. You're too young. Well, what <laughs> happened? Anyway, Mother caught us necking on the porch. Billy, he wasn't even good looking. I couldn't help myself. He was wearing Lord Violet. <laughs> what happened after Mom caught you? Well, Mother ordered him away, but he left me two suitcases full of Lord and Lady Violet as a present. Oh, Billy! You can sell it and make a fortune. I never thought of that. Where is it? It's around in the porch. I didn't want Mom to see it. Well, come on. Come on, Kate, will you? Hmm? Oh, uh, uh, are you sure you won't stay for supper? We're having fried chicken. Look, by supper, I'll be too weak to fight the mosquitoes for it. <laughs> will you hurry up so I won't miss my train? Yeah. All right, now, let's talk business. You say it's sold for a dollar a can. That's what I heard. How much for the whole works? Gee, I don't know anything at all about business. How about 50 bucks? 90. 60. 80. 70. Sold. <laughs> hey, Jim. I'm taking on a brand new line. Oh, that Lord and Lady Violet Cologne. <laughs> You've heard of it? Mr. Blake, you're going to miss your train. <laughs> heard of it? You know, when I was a little kid, I read an ad in a magazine. Some guff about a fellow named, uh... Simmons. Uh, Simmons. <laughs> Making 25 to $30 a week selling this junk, so I bit. <laughs> Never made a sale. The smell got out of my clothes. I couldn't get near a customer close enough to make my pitch. <laughs> Even my own dog bit me. <laughs> the girls say it's great. Maybe they've changed it, improved it. If they've changed it, they've improved it. Stand back, girls. <coughs> Look, it killed him. No, it didn't. He's still breathing. No, I, I mean the mosquito. Look, there goes another one. And another one. And another. Oh, my goodness. They're, they're dropping like flies. I mean mosquitoes. Give me that. Hey, look at them fall. <laughs> How about that? Man, it really stones them. Give me back my insecticide. I've got the hottest new item here since DDT. <laughs> hey, girl, could you give me a hand? Hey, two more cases. These are mine. Oh, no, they're not. Are these full? All 144 cans. I'll give you 75 bucks for both of them. I'll make it 80. 85, 90, 100 dollars. Sold. There you go. <laughs> hey, Jim. Oh. Wait a minute, Jim. Let's make a deal. We'll split the territory. <laughs> hey, hey, look what I just did. Sold out for 100 bucks. I told you that was good cologne. And I still got half my stock left. Oh, no, you haven't. Billy Joe sold the other two cases for 70. 70? She just lost me 30 bucks. <laughs> when are you women gonna learn you don't belong in business? From now on, leave these things to me. Yeah, yes, Uncle Joe. What's A.J. Simmons gonna think? Yes, Uncle Joe. Well, bet he hasn't got four females holding him back. Yes, Uncle Joe. <laughs>
junction. This has been a Filmways presentation.